Typically, I would just change my shipping and handling time to whatever amount of days, but this time we just shut the thing down entirely. As author Anthony Brandt has said, other things may change us, but we start and end with family. I've been picking the Commonwealth for 20 years, searching high and low at yard sales, thrift stores, antique malls, garages, and sometimes even barns for treasures I can pass on to new homes through eBay. But now as I watch my little ones growing up before my eyes, I find that my real treasures are right here with me every day. So join us as we pick, flip, and resell on our two eBay stores and in our three antique booths. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. My name is Kevin, we're in the Commonwealth Cabin, and I did something that I have not done in years, and that is I put my store on official vacation. And I needed to do it for a couple reasons. One is I'm gonna be on vacation, but typically I would just change my shipping and handling time to whatever amount of days, but this time we just shut the thing down entirely and still allow people to buy. I think that's the case anyways. I think it's a bit of a new system for me, but I think that's what we've done here. And so we won't be back for a while, but you're gonna see this video will already be gone at this point. And you're gonna see one more video. That's why I had to shut that thing down earlier than I thought, because I didn't think I could get everything shipped out today. And I have 55 orders going out today, most of them, of course, in a man. And I wanted to give some thanks to those folks, but 55 things and all those thank yous on one video would be like a 40 minute video. So we decided to divvy it up into two. So I'm gonna do this one. Go take a break for a while, maybe have some dinner and then come back in here, probably change my hat, maybe t-shirt, and then we'll uh, do the rest and we'll air these, I guess, man, it, it might be Sunday and Monday when you're watching these two videos and we've got some other videos for you that we'll be putting out next week while we're enjoying a little time off. And while we're gone, we hope your sales are awesome and you guys are killing it during Q4, but let's take a look at what's up. All right, first item, and I'm looking past the camera because the chickens were over in the neighbor's yard, and Turner came and asked me, he's like, can you help me get these chickens? I'm like, you go get them. And he's like, I don't want to get them. I said, you can't get them anyways, you know. And he said, oh, I can get them. I can get them. <laughs> and so now he's chasing these chickens out there. Uh, there's no way he's going to get them. But all right, I'll try not to be distracted here. This came from a box full of manuals and all kinds of different stuff. I paid five bucks for it at a sale. I lost the video for it. It was really a fun sale, too. And, then, and we've already made our money back and we're in the pure profit. But this one sold for $15 plus shipping. 1986 Honda manual. I couldn't find one on eBay, so I stole a listing and I forgot to change it from 84 to 86. And the buyer, thank goodness, said, hey, this says 86, but I want, the, or this has 84 on the listing, but I want the 86, the one that's pictured. <laughs> I'm like, sweet, because that's the one you're getting. So at any rate, $15 free shipping. Cost two dollars and eighty cents to ship it. All right, here is a Woolridge shirt, and I picked this one up because I saw the patches. Whenever you see those leather patches, and it's wool, you know it'll sell. It's not terribly high end, but I'm like, you know, I'm gonna pick this one up. The only problem is it had no size tag, so we had to measure it out. And this guy, he's got a leather collar as well, sold for twenty dollars plus shipping, so it's gonna be a nice, close to a fifteen dollar profit on it. All right, here are a couple of uh, pinballs. So. This is kind of cool. So I list pinballs singularly, and every once in a while somebody buys two of them. <laughs> and so $13.76 for two, which is really cool because uh, I'm going to make a little bit more money. But here's why they did it. I have a listing for two, but sometimes I'll do something that draws more people in. You know, there's a lot of keywords you can use out there. And sometimes you use them for one and there's not enough space to put the keywords in there that you want for your listing. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll create a multi-quantity listing. I don't mean a multi-quantity listing like here's your listing and then you can buy all these different quantities. I mean, I'll create a, a singular listing and then I'll create a listing with two. Matter of fact, I did this for the Inaman early on when I didn't realize everybody in the world would buy an Inaman. I wanted to sell them. I mean, I had like 1,500, 2,000 of these things. I needed to get rid of them in my mind. Now I'm, I wish I had some more. But at any rate, I used some keywords in one of the listings, and then I had a quantity of two in a man. I was selling two at a time and one at a time. And then in the other listing, I used a few different keywords. And so you're not supposed to have the same identical listing, you know, all that kind of stuff. And that's not what I'm advocating here. What I'm saying is, you know, instead of doing one listing and then changing the price if they buy multi-quantities, just do two totally separate listings. One for one, one for two, one for five, one for seven, however many you want to do it for. And then you can throw in those different keywords and kind of cast a bigger net out there. So 
anyway, that's what we did here. All right, here are some vintage tough skin jeans. I think they're kids' jeans. Sears and Roebuck. And Blue Ridge Mama listed these. I think they may have came from the uh, Sunny Share sale. I'll have to go back and look because i got to give him his money if it does. But $30 plus shipping on these. All right, I have three or four or maybe five more that i got to pick up before we head on into the eBay cave. Let's take a look. All right, first one's over here by Woody. And it is a... It's also made of wood. <laughs> this is a nutcracker, and this nutcracker went for the same that the last one went for. I think we paid two fifty. We got uh, two of them for five dollars, so paid two fifty, sold for fifteen, plus shipping. These are good sellers around Christmas time for sure. All right, next one is a costume sale, and it did not sell for much, but I only paid a dollar for it. And it is a Barney Rubble Flintstones costume. Should be on top because my wife just listed it. Look at that. They could have got an actor to look a little bit more like, uh, or a model, to look more like Barney Rubble. So at any rate, $12 plus shipping. Not really a good one. I have done so much better at not buying costumes. I buy some, but uh, I don't buy nearly as many as I used to because they're not really all that valuable. Some of them are really, really good. Don't get me wrong. So definitely don't overlook costumes. But this kind of stuff just is not terrific as far as a big money maker. And I'd say about a third of the time, they're not complete or there's a stain or something on it. So my wife says, stop picking them up. But that one's okay. And it made us about eight bucks profit. All right, next one is a rock band dongle. And it's in the garage flip store. All right, it should be. There it is. I just put it in there the other day. And this one sold for $18 plus shipping. And it was part of a big giant bundle deal. I paid 40 bucks for all kinds of stuff. And we're going to make some really good money on it. Hey, I think last but not least, and I know I put these over here. There they are. Right there. Harley, like, gas tank. I guess that's what they are, yeah. Ornaments. And we're in the pure profit on these. And there's two of them. And these sold for $16 plus shipping. And it'll be pure profit after fees and after shipping. These are pretty cool ones. You know, my wife, I bought them, and she's like, yeah, this isn't the greatest thing in the world. I'm like, I only paid five bucks for the box. She's like, well, in that case, we're going to make like 45 bucks profit on them, so that's cool. There's one more right here, I think. It's like a same thing, gas tanks, ever it looks like a pig, which makes sense, right? <laughs> All right, buddy, we had two homeschool hustler store sales, and we are getting ready to get out of here, so we're going to knock this one out, and then... I'm going to do another video and do some shipping, then I'm going to call you down here and we're going to do one more, okay? Ooh. All right, who's that guy right there? Um, Reverse Flash. Reverse Flash. Does that mean he's really, really, really slow? Or does that mean he goes, does that mean he goes backwards? Does that mean he <laughs> changes colors? Or, yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, my goodness. It's wonderful when kids are smarter than you. I didn't even realize that. That's exactly what it means. The colors are reversed. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. And that's over $12 free shipping. So not a huge profit. And the fart gun sold for that. What movie is that from? Um, Minions. Well, Despicable Me. Movie. Yeah. Okay. And that one sold for $12 plus shipping. So enough for you to do what? Save a dollar, spend a dollar, and donate a dollar. Are you going to spend some money on our vacation? Me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy. See ya. Bye. <laughs> All right, here is the wall-to-wall -wall Man sales here, and this will be it, this video and the next one, and that'll be it for a while. So <laughs> we'll have to see how that goes. The videos will probably be a lot shorter. All right, this one's going out to Mike. I'm a part-time seller and just bought a new house that has an e and he made an eBay room for it. So wanted to get one before they're gone to help out for a Q4. Thanks for the knowledge, wisdom, and advice. Thank you so much, Mike. We appreciate it. He's headed your way. I forgot the bulk ones here. Misty, Linda, and David. Thank you all so much. And this one's going out to somebody who I don't think I can read your name, actually. You probably know who you are, although, you know what, you put your eBay store in here. All right, so if you're getting this as a gift for somebody, and you've told me not to say, you know, close whoever that person's ears are. <laughs> All right, I'm going to read it anyways. If I ruin the surprise, let me know, and I'll make it up to you. All right, it's, uh, y'all, after I read it, you tell me if I did the right thing or not. My son and I watch your videos every chance we get. We love the content and use what you what we learn in our own eBay store, picking in in selling and no g's anywhere picking and selling 
is the name of the store. I wanted to surprise my son with an Inaman as good luck as a good luck symbol for our store. So if that's what you want, then this is your surprise. <laughs> so if you're Jeff's son out there, surprise. <laughs> if I just ruined it, Inaman as a good luck symbol for our store. He would kill me if I didn't get one before you sold out. If you, uh, you know what, this might even be there before this airs. So <laughs> you'll be okay. He says, thanks for everything. So thank you, Jeff. We appreciate it. And this is headed to your son. This is to Christy, viewer of both channels. Would you all mind signing it for us? Thank you. Yeah, sure. No problem, Christy. Appreciate it. Franklin M. Hey, Kevin, the wife and I always enjoy watching your channel. Thank you for the inspiration. I'm a new seller and absolutely love it. I'm hoping to build myself up enough one day to start my own YouTube channel. I'm hoping the Man gets Q4 rolling in a big way. Check out our eBay store, Treat Yourself Treasures. Sincerely, Franklin. Franklin, thank you, and thank you to your wife as well. We appreciate it. This is to Laura. She says, when today's video opened, this is like from five days ago at this point, opened with dozens of these being packed up. I knew it was a now or never. It was a good move. I would have never forgiven myself if I had missed out. We love your videos. Thanks so much for sharing your journey. So we appreciate it, Laura, and it's headed your way. This one is headed out to Rick. He says, long time listener, first time caller. Recently decided to ramp up my selling. Been selling on and off since 2006. Always part time selling here and there. I'm at 200 listings with good days and bad. Sometimes bad, only one to two sales. It's not bad. A sale is a sale. Anyways, my goal is $100 a day. Thank you for all your videos. I watch daily with my family. Thank you to the homeschool hustlers, Bubba, Boots, and Blue Ridge Mama. What about poor Pepper and Sophie and Dobby? <laughs> All right, my brother bought Snack Attack from you. I remember that. So thank you so much. We appreciate it. All right, this one's headed to Lisa. Aloha from Hawaii. I've been watching your YouTube. I wish we were going on vacation to Hawaii. <laughs> YouTube channel for quite some time and love your content and how wonderful your family is. That's very, very kind of you. Good luck in Q4. So thank you very much, Lisa. It's headed your way. This one says Pat, but it says Patrick down below, so I at least know the gender we're talking to here. Been really enjoying your content and knowledge. Had to get one. Thanks. Keep up the great work. Wish the best to you and your family, Pat. Pat, thank you very, very much. Appreciate it. All right, this one's going out to Mike, YouTube fan here. I started selling on eBay in 2004, then stopped. Recently restarted. I'm starting to get piles. Hopefully this will help get things moving along. Please sign for me if you would and give me a misfit so that would be great thanks michael m on youtube mx2 underscore deals on ebay so thank you very much michael look at this this is another mike this is a mike not a michael always enjoy watching you and your family i've learned a lot from watching you finally started selling on ebay last year while i was off work due to health would you mind please signing it for me you and your family i'll tell you what y'all i'm going to do all the signs i can't guarantee my family can get this thing signed because the situation we're in right now to get on out of here but i promise at least i will sign it for you so my ebay store name is bean fan 77 70 is that the year of birth oh, that's my year of birth so there you go thank you so much mike appreciate it two more i'm rolling through these i'm getting pretty fast at these brent and Lori. we want to say a special thank you for your insight and inspiration selling on ebay we've had our store living the dream to two bd ballard 66 a little over a year now and learn something new every day we live on a bit of a homestead in fancy farm kentucky that sounds like a wonderful place so we relate to your family and your store on a few levels thank y'all for what you do brent and Lori. so thank you brent and thank you Lori. We've got one more to go, and that just reminded me of something. You know, that sounds like a great place to visit. I should have just put a call out for our vacation and say, hey, anybody live anywhere we want to go on vacation? We're coming over. We're crashing the place. OBX Picker, that would have been a good place. We'll stay at your house when we visit the beach. <laughs> or that shed you have. All right, so thanks a lot. Watch your YouTube channel all the time. Need to get my store moving for Q4. Store name is Hardy's Collectibles. Looking forward to the shout out. There you go. You just got it. Your neighbor from Kentucky. Two Kentuckys in a row. Awesome. Keith, thank you very much. All right, y'all. I went through that really, really quickly. Now let's just hope I can go through the next video quickly and then get these 55 things shipped out of here. So now I got to get upstairs. I got to get dinner. I got to change my clothes. So the next video you see seems like it's a, a whole new day. <laughs> At any rate, thank y'all for joining us and we'll see you next time.